right, here we go again. So, welcome to my motor vlog. I'm Scooter Wolf. This is my bike, Easy. It's, uh, it's Monday, June 4th. I'm going into town. Got a couple of errands I gotta run. Um, so, a little bit more about myself. I, uh, I'm a producer for a public access television show called uh, Optical Toys. It's uh, shown in Philadelphia. And uh, I'm about to go and get some films to produce um, my next episode, which will be for my third season. Uh, my show is uh, about a half hour long. And uh, I show live action and animated films, short films, that uh, usually are centered around a theme, which is the, generally the title. And so my latest episode is going to be called The Outsiders. And uh, the people who are feeling outside of something, marginalized through anxiety, uh, social issues, so on and so forth. And uh, so I've been able to curate a couple of films that I'm going to put in there. So uh, that's what I'm about to do today. But that's not really what I want to talk about today. Uh, I've got a really kind of an interesting subject that uh, I don't know, kind of slowly crept up on me. And that's uh, about secrets. The writer's code. And code switching. So what am I talking about? Okay, well, secrets. Uh, I think we all have them. Once we start writing, I think we start getting secrets. And what do I mean by secrets? Well, things that we're not going to tell everyone, especially those closest to us, those who love us the most, wives, husbands, mothers, fathers, best friends, you know, anyone, anyone who's close to you who might really be afraid that this is what you do, that you're writing. And, you know, things happen. Things happen that we're kind of afraid to tell other people, and I'm talking about near misses. Close ones. Oh, Jesus. Road rage. Um, and maybe even a, a crash or a drop. Um, you're rear-ended, something that is gonna make them really afraid and, uh, and, and say, stop, no, I don't want you to do this anymore. Or we don't really tell anyone because we don't want them to worry. Uh, we got through it. It may have been a close call. It may have given us some pause, but uh, for whatever reason, you decided to keep that one in the vault and not tell anyone. So anyone have one? Anyone, you know, have something that they would only talk to with other writers? Because we get it. We've all been there. We understand it. And uh, sometimes it's only with the other writers that we can unburden ourselves with. And whether this is, you know, going out or drink, telling war stories of your friends, uh, or on a forum, on forums. Uh, you know, I, I think we all have them. things that uh, we're, we're afraid to confess to. And uh, and I don't I don't really expect anyone to unburden themselves, especially not in comments or anything. Um, but I wonder if anyone has something like that. Or, you know, that's just part of how you ride. And is that part of our code? You know, that, that we only talk to other writers about these things. Speaking of close calls or something, maybe this is road rage incidents, two cars pulled over. Interesting. This is a tricky situation. I don't want people looking at the cop and not looking at me. I'm trying to pull in because I gotta pull around to these people. This is a really bad spot for this cop to have 
pulled over. Got to go a little wide. There we go. Okay, through that. So you know, is that is that our code? That um, you know, we only talk the talk with those who are in the know. Those who've been in our place before, those who understand it, and and know that that's part of the risk that we accept when we decide to ride. Um, that we're going to have these close calls, um, and maybe we avoided them because of our own skill set or our ability to manage the factors. Um, so back there, with the cop pulled over, I really wanted to make sure that people approaching. Could clearly see me. Um, so that's the other part of this I want to talk about, along with our code, is something that's called code switching. And what does that mean? Well, this really has to do with how we talk, how we communicate with others. And so, um, I'm African American. Uh, I'm in a interracial marriage. My wife is white, um, and my wife has said, like you know, sometimes the way I talk with her or her family, and the way I talk with my family, is different. It's a different part of me, um, a different side that she doesn't really see, and she finds it really funny and interesting, and. That's called code switching. You know, the way your your sort of body language, your uh, way of talking, the tone of your voice, how you accentuate, how you sound, how you carry yourself when you're with different people can be different. This could happen when you're at work, between at home, when you're at work with your friends, um, when you're on duty, when you're off duty, when you're talking with other writers. And I, I know I, I notice that's the way with me. Whether I'm replying to something on a forum, and this is really funny because it's when things are in writing as opposed to um, how I speak. But it's just how I talk to other writers. So a couple of days ago, I was coming out of my bank, getting on my bike, and there was a guy in a pickup truck, and he was just sitting in his driver's side, and he uh, leaned out the window and said, hey, nice bike, you know, and we started talking. And I was like, different. I, I kind of realized, like, wow, the, the words I'm using, the, the jargon of writing and everything um, was just coming out of me. And it was really different from, you know, if we were talking about the weather. And if he wasn't a writer, had no interest in writing or anything like that. And, um, you know, so do you, do you notice it? Do you do any code switching? There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I mean, it's not like we have some sort of like split personality or anything like that. But maybe we become slightly different whenever we throw our legs over our seat, whenever we're writing, wherever with other writers. Does it bring out something in us that's different? A different part of our personality, a different part of who we are. It's hard to say. Certainly I'm no psychiatrist or anything like that. I'm sure there are a lot of articles out there about code switching and what it could mean on a deeper level. But I think it's interesting. Um, it's almost like, you know, a secret identity. You know, when we put our, our gear on, our helmets, visors down, who do we become? Is that different once we take it off? Is there a big difference between those two people? And uh, who else is in a know? Who else do you share these things with? These this secret. Good morning. Yep, take care.
Okay, so, made it. A little tiny slip there, but not much of a secret that I'm not going to tell anyone. But, um, yeah, leave leave comments, feedbacks. Tell, uh, let us know if what I'm talking about uh, has a little ring of truth. And uh, whether or not uh, you have secrets, whether you live by the code, whether you do any code switching. But that's really it for today. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys later. Take care.